All right, gentlemen, when you're shopping for eyewear, how do you know what frame to get? Should you do something kind of bold and classic? Should you do something like funky and colorful or something kind of very minimal and vintage? How do you know what's the right look for you? Well, today I'm gonna get into all the ways to make this decision to find the right glasses to flatter your face, your coloring, and to showcase your own personal style. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome to the Hicks Brunson Eyewear YouTube channel. I am your friendly neighborhood optician, Daniel Brunson. And in today's video, I'm talking to the men. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to select eyewear that flatters your face and complements your coloring uh, so that the next time you go looking for glasses, you'll have some of the tools that are necessary to make this very important decision. Oh, and if this is your first time uh, at the channel here, if you want more content like this, I talk a lot about eyewear, eyewear style, uh, new frames, frame reviews, lens technology, transitions lenses, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, so let's get into the topic of today. How do you select eyewear that flatters your face and your coloring and so forth? Um, I'm going to start out by talking just a little bit about shape, like what's a shape that flatters your face? This is where I don't like to get too deep into the rules. Um, there's a general rule of thumb. If your face is more round, you typically want a frame shape that's more square. So just think opposite, opposite shape frame to whatever your face shape is. Okay, so what are the basic face shapes? Well, you've got round, you've got square, you've got oval. In general, this isn't a black and white rule. This is just kind of a general rule of thumb. If your face shape is more round, you want frame shapes that are more squared off. If your face shape is more square, you generally want a frame shape that is a little more rounded. But you don't have to have a round, exactly round frame if you have a more square shaped face. This isn't black and white. Uh, these are just general guidelines. Some face shapes are oval and oval face shapes happen to be the luckiest ones of all because it turns out that most frame shapes look pretty good on oval faces. So a couple of examples. Uh, this one that I've been wearing during my intro, this is more of a square shape, although it does have some rounded corners, so it makes it a little bit versatile on a lot of faces. Uh, this would be almost a perfect circle. So unless your face shape is very square, which mine is not very, very square, um, this isn't the most flattering shape on me, but it works okay because my face is somewhat oval. Um, so you could do a round, you could do a more square shape, you could do a more rectangular shape. You might even do a shape that is very geometrical. If you have a round face shape or a rounded shape, shapes with angular cut lines like this one tend to be very flattering. So you want to think carefully when you're trying on shapes, to figure out a shape that works best for you. All right, so let's talk for just a moment about frame color and what color is gonna flatter your face best. Uh, it's my kind of general feeling that you wanna flatter your coloring by selecting a color that provides a little bit of a contrast with your natural coloring. So if you have a lighter skin tone, uh, you may want to pick, if you're looking at tortoise shells, for example, this is a nice darker tortoise. It, uh, it really has a clean, uh, sharp look, a little bit striking contrast with my skin color. Uh, so I feel like this is a very flattering look. Uh, by, by um, you know, the other hand, you have like a very light shade of tortoise. There's nothing wrong with this look. If I want a more minimal kind of look, this looks okay. I just feel a little bit more, um, I feel flat, my skin is, color is a little more flattered by the darker color. Now an example of what I'm talking about, if you have like too light of a color and there's almost no contrast on your skin, like these uh, crystal acetates can be very trendy over the last few years. Um, they're just not that flattering uh, on someone if you have like almost no color to begin with uh, because they just don't do anything. They don't provide any contrast or provide any striking kind of look. Uh, so that's kind of my general feeling on color. Of course, situation matters. Uh, time and a place for everything. So where I might wear something a little more um, like a softer uh, kind of tortoise like this one in a casual setting, if I'm going to a black tie event, I might put on my classic signature look, which is this thicker uh, black color, polished black uh, frame by Masunaga Optical. That is just one of my, you know, anytime I'm doing a dress up thing, uh, I really like this because it creates a very striking look. 
So now we're gonna talk about frame style. What's your frame style? I kind of break them into about four categories. You've got bold, you've got kind of a classic vintage look, or you've got sort of a minimal look, or the funky look. So let's start out with the bold. Um, I just talked about it. This is my Masunaga triple zero. This look's been around since the 60s and it's a thick, chunky acetate, very bold. Uh, love the look, I've been wearing it forever. Um, so this is one of my favorite signature looks. One of my newer signature looks that I just got for myself, this is the T. Henry H1, very bold frame, uh, bigger, still has that thick chunky acetate, has a clear acetate core, so or clear acetate window so you can see the metal core underneath, very, uh, very beautiful gold work, 18 karat titanium, uh, gold plating on the titanium. Uh, so this is a nice, big, bold statement look, like really a statement look. Uh, I love the blue color, uh, just does, I feel like does a lot. I have a, I have a blue dress shirt that um, I feel when I wear this frame, it's a bold, dressy, really sharp look, like very dapper, creates a very dapper look. So that's another bold example. Um, your frame could also be bold by being some combination of materials like this Tom Davies, this is a new red with a navy blue titanium inlay. Uh, so I wouldn't put this in the funky category, although it could maybe be because red's probably not a color you're gonna wear every day. Um, but you could also say this is just like a bold look and some people would wear every day. So this is a new Tom Davies piece. And this here is a Fossifos frame, which is a French brand. And this is bold because it is bigger and thicker and it has some good colors nice big bold look so those are some examples of the bold looks all right now let's look at uh, just a couple of quick examples of what a minimal frame style would be when i think minimal look if you don't want your frame to be the first thing people notice about you you want something very refined and clean uh, this is a rimless by swiss brand goatee um, as you see you know you really don't see the frame that much all it is is a bridge and a couple of temples uh, shapes can be customized. We have lots of different shapes to choose from. This is a nice, one thing I will say about this, if you're someone who likes a very lightweight, very comfortable frame, you don't want to feel your glasses, the rimless look is a very good option. Or you could also do a thin flat sheet titanium design like the Zero G here. So this is, this is by Zero G Eyewear, known for their very clean, thin, um, modern looking frames that are also very lightweight. Uh, these happen to be <laughs> made very well. No weld points, no screws, um, nothing to loosen or come apart. Uh, so check out Zero G if you want something that's very low maintenance, side note. All right, so that's kind of my minimal look. Uh, let's talk about sort of your, just kind of some of your bread and butter looks that I think you could wear. Uh, if you like an acetate frame, you don't necessarily want a min minimal look. Uh, but you want something that uh, makes a little bit of a statement, uh, but not too much of a statement, not as bold as the bold looks. Uh, this is a nice clean rectangle and a tortoiseshell, new piece by Masunaga, has a titanium temple arm, tortoise and gunmetal, black and gunmetal. I love the gold hinge. This one maybe dresses it up just a notch over the tortoiseshell. Uh, so you could do a look like this here. All right. So now we're gonna jump over to a look that I call classic or vintage. Uh, so <laughs> vintage spans a long chunk of time. I mean, you could be talking about early 1900s vintage. Uh, you could be talking about 1960s. Uh, so let's start with the 1960s, which has uh, produced a lot of looks that are very fashionable and iconic. Think Mad Men. This is what we call the brow line look, uh, or the horn. some people call this the horn rim look because it has a thick acetate rim on top and a wire rim down below. Uh, so this is a Tom Davies uh, piece of this design. And I really like this look, um, dressy or casual. Um, I was a big fan of the show Mad Men. And if you look at like a lot of the characters in that TV show set in the 1960s, a lot of the characters are wearing this look and there's a reason for that. In the 1960s, uh, this horn rim look was like half of all glasses that were made. So. Let's take a look at a piece that is actually from the 1960s uh, that is still available today. This is the uh, famous Sermont by American Optical. It was worn by uh, American figures like LBJ and Malcolm X. Uh, so this is the black and silver 
It also comes in this great kind of chocolate gold color. Uh, so this is the brow line look, very vintage classic, 1960s era classic. Uh, but when you're talking about when you're talking about kind of the vintage classic looks, I mean, you could go back a little bit further. Uh, MD 1888 is a brand that was inspired by eyewear designs around the late 1800s, early 1900s. So a lot of wire rim pieces, smaller frame sizes tended to be smaller back then. Uh, so this is a great matte silver and blue, great gold and tortoise look. So a little bit of an older vintage look. Or you could also be talking about a vintage look in like a very vintage color. Like this is a very vintage tortoiseshell looking color. Uh, there was a time when eyewear was made of real tortoiseshell. And that is why we call this, <laughs> that's why we still have the color so popular today because it goes well with so many um, color tones. And so this is a very vintage tortoiseshell look and a vintage um, classic P3 shape. This shape has been popular, still popular today, but it's one of those classic pieces that's been popular for a very long time. Um, you also have the round look, um, 50s, 1960s classic. Uh, a lot of people wore round uh, in that era, like very round, like this is almost a true circle. Uh, it might actually be. All right, and then my last look in the classic vintage category, this is uh, the original um, American Optical Full View called the Samson. This is a very common feature of a, a vintage frame from you know 50 to 70 years ago, these cable temples, smaller wire rim. Uh, this frame has a lot of benefits to it. It's lightweight, it's comfortable, it is durable. Um, and in this silver color especially, or in the gold color, this creates a very vintage classic look. So if your style is more vintage uh, or more classic, this is a great look for you. I did a light indoor tint with a flash blue mirror. Of course, this frame, uh, you know, you do it as clear lenses. You, I just kind of jazzed it up because I wanted something a little more bold than just the minimal kind of classic look that it is. Uh, so another vintage look that you might want, uh, this is a rimless design by Leisure Society. And this is a design known as a Newmont rimless. It is a drill rimless, but it does have a wire rim along the top. And this is a very 1920s, 30s era rimless looking piece. Of course, everything Leisure Society does is very well made. Japanese block titanium, 18 and 24 karat gold plating. Uh, but this is an example of a very clean, classic vintage look. And I'm gonna go ahead and add another one to the classic vintage looks. Uh, this one is a navigator shape, so it's different than an aviator in that it's not a teardrop, it's a little more squared off. Uh, you're gonna see, if you look back into the 1980s, early 1990s, you're gonna see a lot of men wearing this look. Um, this is just a great, great classic piece, and it has sort of made a little bit of a comeback over the last handful of years, but it never quite has broken back into mainstream like it did, uh, like the last time it did in a big way in the early 1990s. Uh, think um, Stranger Things, uh, there was a character, was his name Murray? Uh, he wore this big gold uh, navigator shape. Uh, he was a journalist in the show. Or think like Bill Lumberg in Office Space, uh, that war looks like this. So this happens to be a piece by Goatee Eyewear, and uh, it's a titanium, so it's nice and light. I like the matte finish on the gold. I think it makes it a little easier to wear as a clear optical. It's not a, sh a, a super shiny gold, so it's not too much to wear casual indoors in the office environment. Uh, it's a nice clean look. All right, so uh, we can talk about funky eyewear looks. If your style is you like something that like gets everybody's head to turn in the room when you walk into the room, uh, look at funky shapes. Uh, we have a fun brand called Catch London, and if you want something that's big and bold and it's got a bright popping color, uh, I love this design here. Uh, this one is called Garrett, which how cool is that? Maybe I need to own these because Garrett is my middle name. So you've got this orange color that's also just fantastically fun. Uh, so you could do something. It's a, it's a combination, this one. It's a big square acetate, but it does have a metal bridge and a metal hinge. Um, so two really cool, funky looks. 
You might also decide, no, nah, that's not funky enough for me. I want to go like full on funky. So you might check these out from Catch London. This is called Wonk. How about this? How about if you don't know what shape you need? You might need circle for one, for one square for another. You can't make up your mind. You can get them both. So uh, ultra funky. This one comes in a couple of different colors as well. Uh, Catch London uh, eyewear made in London. Beautiful British craftsmanship. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna talk about is what to do with your lens color. So you could do something like this one that I did here. If you don't want just a plain frame clear, if you wanna spice up the style with a little bit of tint, you could do something like this. Uh, you might do some different tint colors. This is a blue gradient. Uh, you could do, uh, we have a whole tint book full of colors that you can select from. And uh, what I did with these was I actually put them on a transitions lens so they'll darken further when I go into the sun. Uh, or you could just take a frame like this one, have it be clear indoors, and then it transitions outdoors. There's various transitions colors that you can use or tint colors to customize your frame look. Uh, so those are my guidelines on how to pick your frames. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other tips and trip trick to <laughs> If you have any other tips and tricks that uh, you find helpful when you're picking out eyewear, uh, leave us a comment down below. Do you agree with my, uh, my guidelines? Do you think I missed anything? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't wanna miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and I will see you in the next video.